All right, friends. So I don't know how long you've been on the internet, but I've been around a bit, and I used to watch this 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 guy named Strong Bad who'd respond to emails, these cheesy little emails, and he had a video about a dragon. So if you've never watched the dragon video from Strong Bad, then you, this is going to be confusing, and we could just call this a dragon, and we can call it a day. Okay, but um, Trogdor is one of my favorites, and one of my viewers is named Trogdor, and so we have the Trogdor dragon map. This is a dragon with consummate Vs and an arm of a muscular man. Again, if you haven't watched the video, it will be a little bit confusing. But, you know, it's a dragon map. And it's a nomad start. Players started on their little island, similar to Pilgrims. And there's eight kings out there. And this will be standard regicide here. There will be no exploding kings. But, um, yeah, I mean, right off the bat, you can kind of tell... Most of the gold is in two locations, so I'm not sure how balanced it is. We've got 155 tiles of gold here, and then we've got uh, 131 tiles of gold over here. And no one wants to travel great distances to get to the other gold just yet, but maybe it is worth it to do that. It looks like in the north you've got uh, you've got some berries within the trees. There's also a market up there, which is Benny's Market somehow. I don't know how that happened. But that, that starts off our introductions. Here in the purple, we've got Benny playing as the Turks. Benny has wandered far away from everybody, which might end up being smart. Uh, oh, it says Exploding Kings. So let's just put TRACTOR! Again, watch the video if you're wondering why I screamed like that. Um, in the gray, we have a very good player. This player is also as no otherwise known as Black Forest. So as a 2K plus player, is easily the best in this particular game. Uh, Matza, playing as the Dravidians. In the red, we have Saladin playing as the Lithuanians. In the orange, we have Penscrawl, who has TC'd the shoreline, which is an interesting choice, but I imagine the view is very nice. In the green, we have uh, ne nef Nephew. Okay, we've got Green, who I will always call Zolotl, um, but they haven't changed their name, and so it's going to be confusing for you playing as the Slavs. Uh, in the teal, we have... Bad Speller, who's playing as the Saracens. In the yellow, uh, yeah, yellow, we've got Minjambin playing as the Teutons. And then last but not least, we have the creator of the map and the inspiration for this, Trogdor, here in the blue, uh, who obviously is a viewer of mine. I've noticed this wolf refuses to attack. So, yeah, I mean, the, the map is not the most balanced map we've ever seen. Uh, we'll see how players end up faring here. But it is a diplomacy game, and thus far, Gray has not allied everybody, I've noticed. So we'll see how things pan out here. Uh, Saladin stealing some deer, even, from Gray so far. So I think where I would want to be is, like, over here, right? I'd want to be far away from people. I'd want to have access to this. But I think eventually you're going to want to go elsewhere. But for now, this is obviously better for your start. Um... Teal says that the kings can't garrison, which I don't, I, I was not told anything even about kings when we hopped in here. We kind of hopped in here blind. But if kings can't garrison, that is going to have some consequences. Yes, I'm not seeing any kings garrisoned. So, um, okay, Teal says, uh, so Gray is 2291 Elo apparently, just saying. So Teal snitching. Letting everyone know that Gray is really good. Again, Gray used to be known as Matza. Changed his name to Black Forest. Still kind of known as Matza. It's, it's a whole thing. But I've casted games with Matza. Matza also played, I think, Penguin Nothing uh, like six months ago. A red, Red's tactic here is Gray don't kill me. Interesting Diplo tactic. People are asking about the map. You know, as someone who was a rather sheltered individual growing up, it does make me happy that... I mean, I'm upset for people that they didn't experience Trogdor as a kid, but it also makes me happy that I know it and they don't, you know? So, is this explored or no? Oh, shoot! They don't even get to enjoy the, the map that is Trogdor. Oh, shoot. Well, I mean, I showed... I, I thought they would have done Explored. The communication with Trogdor the host was lacking in the build-up. Uh, I would have said Explored so they could figure it out. I did show the map, 
But like, Zolotl said, what are we playing? After I played the whole video, showed the map three times. So I, it's very possible players don't know what they're going to find out here. Uh, Purple, though, is scouting down here. I've noticed there's a market that you could potentially trade with. You could definitely control these choke points pretty easily. Yellow built a house here, for example. The purple could always build something here to block the path. Red realizing now they can't garrison. So I'm going to imagine that's a bug. So that's fun. Um, does anyone remember a game, a regicide game in the past, where a king died and then no one was defeated? Does that ring any bells for people? I remember it was a scenario, so which is what this is, which means things are like pre-placed and whatnot. It has to be. And a king died and the player wasn't defeated. And so considering the kings can't garrison right now, I wonder if like... I wonder... I I'm hoping that's not the case. <laughs> but like players could straight up just go for scouts to to kill kings here. Uh, we've had done some games with kings not being able to garrison, so we could turn this into a feature. Not necessarily a bug. Actually, um, I remember there was a patch where they updated the game uh, maybe last year at some point, and then kings couldn't garrison that week, and we had a lot of fun in community games. There's also a... There is a mod now for that. I forget which came first, the chicken or the egg there, but... Still confused... Purple didn't build this, right? They're in Dark Age. So I wonder if this is like a collectible market. Yeah, 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 like this. So if you scout it, this becomes yours. And that's what has happened here with Pen Scrawl. Relics are in the trees. They're in the body of the dragon. And there's quite a bit of wood out there, obviously. Uh, apparently Red's King is threatened right now. And Red's King is, ooh, really close to Yellow's TC. Hold on, we're at what, 12 minutes? I need to go back to the start. They started with their kings in the ships, right? Okay, and their kings had to get into those ships. Got it. That was my question, because it kind of looked like Red was trying to garrison there, and it wouldn't work. So Trogdor yes. reaches out to the highest ELO player here. Really solid player, top 100 level, and says... It seems everyone is worried about you being high elo. All these kings are threatened right now. This is wild. The red. Oh, red wanted to get through here. Maybe yellow should make a gate next time. Orange is relocated with some eco and the king, which is smart for the long term. It's risky to stay here. But uh, it looks like only one person was able to scout the gold. And the wolf got a kill there. So I don't actually remember who that was. But since they are allied, they should be able to figure that out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Red. Red has ventured in towards Blue's TC. The creator of the map. And the king is weak. And we've now got wolves around as well. This map is chaos. Um. Oh, God. Red, what do you... Is purple not allied? What's happening? King is trapped. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this feels like a trap. <laughs> this feels like a trap. <laughs> Red. I get what you're trying to do here. Red is really trying to relocate. But purple locked the gate. <laughs> and uh... <laughs> now Red is trapped here with the king. Not an ideal scenario. It says, Blue tried to kill me. Well, Red, I got news for you. Purple doesn't want to let you pass. <laughs> so... <laughs> and wait, why is Blue bringing the king here? A Blue scouting with it, maybe? I, Purple could just be have locked this gate to not let anyone through. Hmm. <laughs> this is a weird game, dude. This is a weird game. I do like the fact that players are fishing here. It's really important. So well played from the players doing that. I also think relocating, like leaving. Look at this. You've got yellow with the villager, red with the villager, and then you've got teal with villagers. Everyone's trying to escape. Yellow's even got a vill here. Like, that's a really big deal. Um, But like, 
red, the king is here, right? So that king needs to somehow get through. And you're not getting back because yellow has built the house there. So this is a big yikes moment right now for red. And red's got to like ask purple to let him through. But even then, you have to run past the TC. So <laughs> red's trying to tower hop. Wow, that's funny. Okay, so sometimes on diagonal walls, if you hop in the tower and try and go through, you can hop through the pieces. Um, they, they kind of fixed a lot of the tower hopping over the last couple of years, but in the past, you could always do it on the corner of Arena, by the way. I have videos on it, very old graphics, the tower hop. But I guess the king lives here now. I mean, I think Red's maybe going to make some army, if anything, to try and bust down those walls. But then you make an enemy. Green goes to gray and to red. The other two solid players, just you two, friends in the mid. And I mean, you better hope so. Because if somebody gets a castle up here or something, they're going to dominate the middle. Having said that, you could pretty much only build a castle here or like here. The stone is in the mouth of Trogdor here. Market Blacksmith here from Teal. Again, villagers just being let through. Nice from Orange. Orange should be paying a toll here. Orange should be paying a fee to let people through this gate. Or be receiving a fee to let people through this gate. Actually, the big play... It's let the king through and have another gate on the other side, and then you lock it. Oh my god, he could have got so many people. Oh, that's what happened with orange! Oh, but purple didn't lock the gate. Wow, purple, hold on guys, hold on. That's precisely what just happened here. So orange, I guess, went back through, because orange has been scouting around with this, right? Purple notices this and sees an opportunity. Watch the gate. Wait. It says locked. Huh? This is bugged, bro! Wait, what? Hold- Huh? Hold on, for a second... What in the world? Okay, for a second, it no longer says locked. I'm super confused. Slow-mo. It's locked now. Oh, he unlocked it right before. What? That's super weird. And then it was locked like seconds later. That that's it feels very unintentional from purple. I don't understand how that worked. And maybe purple Purple didn't know it was locked, and now purple has it locked, and now the king is trapped. Okay. So poor execution from Benny. And Pen Scrawl says no and purple uh, orange is gonna die. It's exploding kings! What? I didn't know it's exploding kings! Purple didn't know either! Oh no! And Red is still trapped! What? We were not informed! We were not informed! Benny says I regret it! Red is so dead! Oh my god, Purple might survive! What a- what a bait! Oh my god, and Trogdor's lost his head! And Purple's still alive somehow! <laughs> Red is dead, which means Blue, the creator of the map, who didn't tell us it was Exploding Kings, is also dead. Because this explosion will kill Blue. Now, in all fairness, maybe Blue just made the settings he thought we would use, but the, again, the communication wasn't there. Purple is dead. Blue is dead. Oh my god. And wait, it doesn't say they're defeated? Wait. They can still play? If they have units? Huh? Huh? Can Blue still move his stuff? What's happening? Trogdor's entire head is going to be gone. Uh, Teal's going to lose a lot of eco here. Uh, well, I guess Blue lost what's left. Blue says WTF. So, okay, Blue is defeated. But the other players who lost their kings are actually still in the game because they have units. Okay, so it wasn't set to regicide. <laughs> wow, what a moment. It wasn't set to regicide, but they put kings with explosions. So the scenario is, is kind of bugged. The host who created this is, is the only one defeated. Purple has fishing ships. Yeah, basically the kings are nukes. Yeah, it, it's, it, that's true. Players could realize that if their king dies, they could still play. They could use their king as a weapon now. And Green says bet T90 is molding. I'm not molding. Alright. 
But now I'm molding that you thought I would be molding, all right? I mean, the countryside has been burninated here. Also, love how Trogdor's head is still kind of there. You see it? You see his little head? Orange says, should not have killed my king. Orange still has vills, right? Yo, Orange is still in this, right? Can Orange move stuff? Yeah, Orange is moving. Orange is like, yeah, screw you, Benny. Screw you. And Benny leaves the game. Because Benny can't do anything with fishing ships. Dang. Well, that was wild, man. That was wild. Um. So, yeah, I guess there's a lot more real estate over here. The relics are now freed up as well, which will take time to get. Red is building up TCs on the, da the Dagron over here. Which is also the video reference. So is yellow. Um, Gray's got a massive eco lead, which is maybe to be expected. Due to the elo difference. And just was able to avoid... You know, disaster with what happened there. Uh, a lot of that's fishing ships, which are running out of like food here, but still that should be pretty strong. Um, Trogdor the Burninator in chat says, sorry about the settings. I will work on it to make it better. Sad face. No, 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 no. Salutes in chat for Trogdor. That was an amazing moment. Listen, sometimes in life, you need something to catch you by surprise. Don't be upset. This map looks awesome. I... I didn't know, and that made it fun. Uh, I mean, Benny probably is not too pleased with you right now. Maybe you should apologize to Benny, but that was wild, man. Because, again, I came into this thinking there wouldn't be kings. Then there were kings. Then I didn't realize it was exploding kings. Then there was an explosion. And then you could apparently lose your king and still be in the game. And people don't care about kings no more. It's about the people. Screw the king. We can still live without our king. The people are king. Yeah. But now we've got nukes that could be used tactically. I just don't know if the information has been shared with the others. The others are still probably thinking this is exploding kings. I can't lose my king. Right? Because no one said, uh, what did I miss? Benny said, I got nothing. GG boys was fun. Orange said, should not have killed my king. I mean, that should be confused. Do they not read? Should not have killed my king should send off alarm bells. Like, huh? Oh, 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 Zolotl knows. I'm willing to offer my mercenary services to anyone who'd require it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Green knows. Green realizes that king is not needed, I believe. That's what I assume mercenary services means. We'll see if anyone's got good offers here. What are, what's the what's the bidding going to start at here? Uh, invalid. Thanks for the six months of subs. Thank you, Lucius, for the five. Uh, v, welcome back with the thirty-three, my friend. Alentech, thanks for the four months. Thank you, Bolt, for the forty-three. Nice to see you, Bolt. Sorry I missed that. Some new faces. Old old place. Old new faces. New places and. Kings exploding on bases. Woohoohoo! Sorry, that got weird. Manganel here from Matt's is a little bit out of place. But if Onager's being researched, then maybe I'd get it. Just maybe fight yellow off of the wood line or something. Can you delete your king? Yeah, you can delete your king. And so I think what Green was offering there was was just that. But of course, there's like no response. Like, come on, guys. What are we doing, Minjambin, Saladin, Bad Speller, Matza? What are we doing? That's such a good, such a good thing to play off of here. No one responded. There goes a the castle. Chum Hum says, bring back Fat Slob. I will bring back Fat Slob in a couple weeks. As always, I will have a Fat Slob cast around Christmas time. It should be on Christmas Day for me will be Fat Slob. So if you want a Fat Slob update, it'll be there. All right. Fat Slob played two games this entire year. I saved them. If he goes online, I get a phone call. All right. My people are on it. I He is important to me. Does I Sit still play? Um, I Sit does, has not played in a long time, which is sad. But he is also on my list. My spies are out there. Basically, that just means I check a lot. That's that's not... I have no spies, just to be clear. 
Holy crap, Yenzo. What in the world is this? I could be wrong, but... I think you just said welcome back to Twitch or something like that. Uh, that's a warm welcome and a half. Thank you. The gifted subs there. All right. So, you know, only conversation I've really seen has been from Orange. Who said, what is this map and then trade? And guys, if, if even if you knew who Trogdor was, this map would be confusing for you now because of the explosions. But you can still kind of see the remnants of a dragon. There's Onager now from Grey to maybe cut through and attack somebody. And Grey is allied with... Oh no, isn't allied with Teal. Here goes Green, by the way. Jeesh. Uh, Binny Bong Baron just raided with five viewers. Salutes in chat. Welcome, welcome. Hope you had a nice stream. This has been as crazy and scuffed as people want community games to be. And Gray, who is way better than everyone in this game, has not been teamed up on by people. That has not been a conversation. I mean, at the start, people kind of did that, but not much else since. Teal puts Gray on neutral now. Because Gray never allied here. And, well, I guess this is Gray wanting gold. And Gray's going to get some gold. Have to admit, didn't even expect a hello. What are, you, what are you trying to say? You think I'm not a friendly guy, huh? I take it all back. No. <laughs> Do you all still have kings? Can, can people figure out what happened earlier? Why does no one know? Was it not in the news? Maybe people don't trust the news. What? Journalism has deteriorated at a rate where people do not believe this happened. I don't know. Like, what's happening? Guys, this is unprecedented. We have Orange alive without a king. All right? No king alive. King go boom, player go live. That's a problem. King got sniped, but otherwise all good. First commie game. Yellow has been in commie games for like five years. Has been around for like a decade. Well... Half a decade, or I don't know, a quarter of a decade. Now, Minjambin's never been a very observant chatter, but Minjambin should be like, wait, this person's king is dead. How does that make sense? Uh, remember, Green said, I will offer my mercenary services. So I believe Green recognized what happened and is willing to make this king explode on somebody. But if your king dies, it will explode, but you will not be killed. Like, you, you're not defeated then, basically, to sum it up. Oh, and kings can't garrison either. <laughs> also, there's some weird movement there in the terrain. I think that's from, like, a mining? It's like a ghost is mining ghost stone there? I Because the stone disappeared or something? Like, is that the same effect? Kind of feels like the same effect there, right? Is that trees? I don't exactly know what's happening. But players have expanded pretty nicely. It's wood. Is it wood? It looks a bit more wood. Mm, it looks very it ve looks very much like Choppa. Yes. Uh Trevin, thanks for the uh and and C money. Thank you guys for the subs. Thank you. It's been good to be back on Twitch. Someone asked me how it feels. Feels good. Still feels new. Um, but, you know, it, it, it feels like home. It feels good to be back where it all started. And it's also been really motivating to... Like, streaming on Facebook was not a climate where if I worked hard or... Um, like, there were people there supporting, right? Don't get me wrong. But it wasn't a thing where if I did something that was really big or exciting that I felt like it paid off in support or viewership. You know, it was like the same core who continued to show up and have my back. And I love that core to death. But there was no like real growth or, you know, uh, if I if, if that moment happened, the, the reaction was the same as, as every other moment almost it felt like, you know, so. So it, it you know, the dynamic of doing cool stuff and then having people show up for it and support for it and be excited for it, that it feels a little bit more natural, you know? 
Okay, so yellow is just getting attacked and still not saying much. Is going to the Imperial Age in a TC somewhere. And this has been a pretty crappy Diplo game, not gonna lie. <laughs> There's been very little chatter. So I was expecting a little bit more as far as that's concerned. Orange is trying to chat. Pen Scrawl says, Gray, all good back there, bro. I think we saw one message from Gray, which was like a yes or something, right? Um, LDX, thanks for the bits. Good stuff. I don't have slash want a Facebook account. Nice to watch a live stream after finding you on YouTube. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I get it. T90, are you ever allowed to tell us how much Facebook paid you? I, I said it before. Did you guys not hear? It's between ten thousand dollars and eighty-five million and one. Somewhere between there for two years. So, you know. It's very vague, but <laughs> I can, can you imagine? <laughs> T90, I would never sell out if I were in your position. Coming with eighty-five. <laughs> obviously it's a joke. Nah, I mean, for obvious reasons, right? Not really going to be something I discuss, right? Um, people can get weird with that kind of stuff, and it's more than I deserve, but honestly, the support I get is more than I deserve, too, so I'm, I'm lucky to be in the situation I have, right? A <laughs> very specific number, yeah. So, Gray's being attacked by Teal. We've got Penscrawl also attacking Gray. Now, Gray kind of started some of this, right? Because Gray was trying to move out. Gray is completely surrounded. The the strongest player has been completely surrounded. Wait, yellow nukes? Who? Wait, chat. Where? 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 Someone said King died. Where? Um, yellow died. Wait. Did it die in a transport ship? Oh. Well. Oh my. Well, okay, well, they don't explode then. So I wonder if Gray's going to realize, though, that Yellow's king has gone down and that Yellow's still in the game. Because it didn't, it, to me, it seemed like they didn't really know that's how it worked. So no explosion will happen because of this bugged situation. Sorry, we'll go back to where we were. And Gray is still completely surrounded. And then obviously Yellow doesn't have a king now, but that is one less bomb on the map, basically. Well done from Gray. Like, I want to... Everyone should be, like, hype. Well played. If this was working properly. But it's not. Yeah, no nukes underwater here. Um, Gray's still going to have some army issues. I notice Red has 180 eco and is not fighting anybody right now. Red is my big favorite here. Red is trading, too? Holy, man. Red does not have a king. That king died earlier. Red says, wait, I am high score WTF. Always a good tactic if you're doing really well to act surprised by it. Man, I am noon. Noob. Okay. I was wondering what you meant there. Uh, but yeah, my Facebook contract's up. Yeah, my Facebook contract was up and I've been back on Twitch for a little over a month now. We'll stream on YouTube as well for big events. But for now, just on Twitch. I'm going to stick mainly to Twitch. Okay, for the love of God, people, please take Green up on this offer for the content. Green says, I can offer services to whomever needs it. Remember, nobody acknowledged that before, and it's been bothering me ever since. And I, I think we're going to get denied again. Now, I think that offer is sending the king towards somebody. Grace says, thank you, but I think is saying thank you to Red, who said, I will help you, you are my pal. Which, if that's going to be the case, that means the top, two of the top two players are going to be fighting together. And, ooh, okay, Green is actually in here with the Boyar. And Gray is trying to protect the king. I think Gray still thinks, as Yellow says, um, should I be dead? <laughs> Oh, these poor players. I mean, for us, it's obvious because we've had time to think about it, right? But they're still realizing as we go, 
how this works. A quick wall there from green, who really wants to kill this king, that will not defeat gray, but it will lead to an explosion, which is gonna massacre economies. Just massacre economies. Villagers, left, right, front, and center, are gonna be gone. Oh my god. I'm so tempted to select how many units are here, but if I do that, I bet you Capture Age would crash the second they disappear. Well, here we go, folks. Run away. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Do you remember when we had a dragon here? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I think he made the explosion bigger, too. And now there's no gold! Suddenly, this becomes so much more important. What a mess, dude. All right, so, but Gray's lost a king, and Gray's still alive. Maybe Gray's like, is this heaven? Is this what heaven looks like? This looks an awful lot like Earth. Like, Yellow also said, um, should I be dead? So Yellow's thinking the same. Yellow's making paladins from the north. Um, Gray obviously turns on green. I still think green is saving this king, which can't be Garrison, by the way. I still think green is saving this as a weapon. Because you don't need the king to be alive in this. Um, gray got... Uh, did you guys add that up? Someone said 211 kills. Okay, so that those kills were attributed to gray. That makes sense. Gray says, who wants my reds? I think gray is, like, dead. Um, and we're going to have red turning on teal here. And, like, Teal doesn't even have fully upgraded arms. Even if he did, the Paladins are going to destroy. And this is problematic for Bad Speller. And Bad Speller is going to need some support. So, we have two kings alive, though. We have Teal's king. And Teal's been, like, super sneaky with it, too. Look where the king is. You can't garrison, but that's really hard to see. And then Green's king is also alive. But we have six players in the game. The Paladins are going to de destroy Teal's eco here. And I'm not seeing enough from Teal to indicate that there's options for this. Like, Mamelukes are good, but I'm not seeing the upgrades in numbers. Eco is going to go down, and Yellow is going to be in support. Green is going to be here in support. Now, Green is Slavs and has what looks to be fully upgraded champs, which can be really strong. Especially if Jerzine is in. I don't think there's a way I can select units and see if Drazine is in, but it's a really strong upgrade for infantry. And Teal is clearly very scared with that king. Maybe still thinking that if the king dies, that he will die as well. But we figured, we found this out the hard way, folks. It's exploding kings, but not regicide, <laughs> which we've never combined before. And then you also can't garrison the kings? It's like everything here was designed to be a troll. But green takes top score. Green takes top score, looking pretty good. The champions are doing work. There's 80 of them. Red had not turned on green until now, which is part of why green took such a good fight. Maybe green could push it this way, because red is actually trading this way. But red is trading to, like, yellow. Is green trading with red? I think green was trade. I don't know, but any trade that direction from green obviously is not going to work. I guess like the northern corner, the northern and the eastern corner are the most important for trade because of how this is set up. Shriveled Knob <laughs> says, Hey T90, when did you come back to Twitch? Shriveled Knob, I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm still on Facebook. Go away. So I never have to say that name again. <laughs> Just. I'm still on Facebook. All right, just just go go watch the live streams on on the good old Facebook. Like I said before, listen, I, I get that like people don't want Facebook accounts. Some people take anonymity a little too far, you know. Some people are way too comfortable on the internet when people don't know who they are. <laughs> uh, all jokes, all jokes, all jokes. I've been back for a bit now. Chaos everywhere. It's become very hard for me to break this down. But you know what I'm noticing is they're actually sharing lots of gold over here. Yellow, green, teal are taking the only gold that's left on the map. 
Obviously, Red, though, has got some trade, which is nice. But, you know, stockpiles are important, and the gold is all Minjambin right now. Being Tootins with that much gold and 58 on food is insane. Yellow should be the favorite. I think Tootins are better than Slabs as well, if this comes up being yellow versus green. Um, maybe the Boyar could be really good for the Slabs, actually, but... Anyways, Red is asking for help, and Yellow says, I am very lost at what is happening right now. Well, it is rather hard to, to grasp what is happening. We've got, like, Yellow Eco in the south, Yellow Eco in the north, Yellow Buildings in the east. Yellow's, like, all over. Orange says, I don't even know where I am. Are we helping Teal? Question mark. Is asking Yellow. <laughs> this game is so weird. And then Yellow says to everyone, help Teal or Red? And then, like, Arge is like, Teal. Meanwhile, Green is turning on Teal? What? I thought you saved Teal. Oh, Green's King was killed. Green's King was killed. Okay, so that's going to be an explosion. I assume Teal did that. And now Teal says, it's not even Regicide, LMAO. You lost your King! Wait, no, you didn't lose your king, so you shouldn't know. Green lost the king. Now the explosion happened. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. This whole game has been a mess. It has been a wonderful mess. There is now one king remaining. So we could, like, soft count Teal as a winner. But again, uh, you don't actually need your king to survive. There's just one more bomb, basically. One more nuke. I said before, gold's a big deal. Yellow, who has the most gold, is finding the gold. This is the most important area of the map right now. Actually, you need trees too, though. There's some trees there. Nothing there. I mean, there's a bunch of players that are basically dead right now. Teal is basically out of the game. Orange is basically out of the game. They've got very little left. The big three... Are, I mean, Gray's basically out of the game. Gray's just making halves. So it's really just green, red, and yellow, and red and yellow are working together. So since red and yellow are working together, I would give them an edge. We were gonna help Teal, says Orange. And Orange is just attacking green. Okay, final bomb, final king. Don't... Okay, well, it's gonna explode in an area that's already been tested. And that is actually going to screw up Teal Zico so bad. Look, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He knows he's got to run away from this. He's trying to get as far away from that bomb as possible. You don't have time to flee. So you better chop faster, peasants. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This could defeat him. He'll have nothing left except a couple buildings. Oh! Hey, they survived. And now they get to die by sword. But if I had to choose... No, I would choose Die By. I would blow up over Die By Sword any day, personally. I don't know about you guys. Just end it fast. Who cares how awkward it is for people to clean up for the funeral, right? Ah, nope. I'd take the bomb. No sword death for me. How many hits? Four hits? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Teal's making a run for it. Uh, what is over here from Teal? <laughs> Random farmer. And the Conics are there to protect her. Um, there's also some miners over here, so that's okay. Everyone's congregating here to take wood. I think green is kind of dead, right? Well, green is in the trade of red, so that hurts red. Still, it's only yellow on this gold, though. Yellow's got navy. Green could lose this castle. This game is a mess. There's going to be no trees. This makes no sense. Twin Blade and, and Lemnis, Lemne. Thank you guys for the sub. Sorry. Oh, Token Smurf. Thanks for the five gifted too. Sorry, I missed that. Red says, why? Why anything? This whole game has made no sense, but it's been fun nonetheless. And Green says, I don't have much left. Yeah, I think everyone's screwed except for Yellow. Look at the eco. Uh, Teal's actually in a decent spot with gold. But Teal doesn't really have many villagers from what it seems. Maybe like 20 villagers. Yellow's still got 100 villagers and has food up here. 
Relics and also that golden come. Crazy stuff. Wait, is Gray defeated? No, Gray's still alive somehow. How is Gray still alive? Hmm. Um. A dock? Oh, Gray can still live because of the docks and the transport. Oh, that's not that's not Gray's transport. Okay. Yellow's here with paladins. Paladins will potentially clear all of this up. Remember, yellow still has that gold. Farming eco from Teal over here goes down. Sad times. Uh, GG is called by Gray. Gray's out of the game. Gray, one of many players confused here by what took place. And I think we can understand it. As, as much as I wanted players to realize in-game, they're focused and they, they didn't quite pick up on the fact that... Like, they saw explosions, too, right? So they probably still thought, like, oh, don't lose your king. There's an explosion every other game we've been doing the last two years. Green says, yellow is leading in truth, which is true. I think green's kills and maybe techs have led to this score, and, and maybe why that's why people have picked on green a little bit. Yeah, I mean, from I didn't realize the score was so significant here. Yellow is way ahead. Let's look at total eco counts. 154 for yellow. Second place is red with 55. <laughs> Second place. Third place is bad speller with 27. Huh? Green's got 19. Orange has 18. Yeah, green's king did kill a lot of things, which probably influenced the score massively. Destroyed a lot of buildings, too. All right. Are you not entertained, people? Yellow's just like, as long as I have this gold, I'm fine. This gold is all I need. I don't need trade. I just need this gold. Also, however many relics are in there, three's not, not bad. Orange pushing green. I think, like, orange feels like I'm pushing the top score guy here. And green has had... Green has actually been the most observant player in this entire game. Uh, and it says, whoever has the western gold wins the game. Yeah, but it's just like... A little too late. Too little too late, I think. To recognize this. Mr. Pinos is T90. How is this regicide with every king dead, but still players are playing? What? Yup. Game is borked, people! The game is borked! But, uh, as we've explained, this was not how it was supposed to work. Everyone had a nuke, basically. And, uh, you know, a little bit of a surprise here. But it's very fitting to Trogdor, right? Trogdor is complete and utter chaos. So maybe this is intended. The host did feel bad. I don't know if Trogdor is still in chat. He did seem to feel really bad. I hope you don't feel bad. This was funny. The I'm going to show you guys the best part, my favorite part. My favorite part was still that moment where Purple thought... It was going for a clutch play, killing the king from orange. And it ended up killing him. <laughs> he didn't know it was exploding kings. He's like, oh, I got this epic play. And then all of a sudden, you start to see the animation. Green says, ally again, I can help you. And orange is angry. I will wipe green from the face of the earth. And green says, I can be a good friend. And orange says, we're way past that. Man, they've got beef. I, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like this game should be over soon. Green's, like, going for ally, like, big Diplo plays. Are they really going to be able to hold on? The army count for Bad Speller is really solid at 80. It looks like Green's still got control of this corner to potentially trade. Now, Orange is still in a decent position army-wise. Red and Yellow still have this gold. They haven't really been taking big fights, though, against the enemy until now. Now, that's a lot of arbs, though. So the Paladins should kill a lot, but I'm not sure... Unless Red shows up here, I'm not sure it's going to be enough. If Red loops in on this side. Like, Green isn't in a position economically to really help. And that is a lot of Paladin. But I think the game settled down. I see someone saying, like, now they dip low. It's too difficult and too crazy a map, I think, to really dip low 
properly here. And palas get cleared up, or get the clear up rather. The arms were missing chemistry, which hurt a bit, but even still, that's just crazy numbers. And we're back where Teal was before. Eco being exposed and getting raided, this time by Paladins instead of Champions. And, I mean, Green's got this little corner and a little bit of trade. But Yellow even has a castle here with Crenellations. So, the trade should die. And trade will die. Yep, that's the end for Green. That's the end for Teal. This game will end soon. And, I mean, like, Orange has an army? But the biggest reason Orange is alive is because Orange is friends with the top two. So you've got, like, the fire color. The fire! Burninating the countryside. I didn't realize that the fire colors are winning. Look at the map. The countryside has been burninated. It's fire colors. Gonna revenge green a bit, says red. Um... Yellow says green, and then green goes to orange, your lowest score, you need me. Green, teal died, what about the friendship? Red, what are you doing? Okay, let's go green. <laughs> Wait, what? Green, teal died, what about that friendship? And then immediately goes, red, what are you doing? Oh, okay, we'll kill green. What was that? <laughs> it took him all of 10 seconds to decide he didn't want that friendship. Green says I can make someone a king. I'm not so sure you can actually do that, but I like the words. <laughs> Dude is having a one-man conversation through. Green, uh, what are you gonna- how are you gonna make somebody a king? Are you gonna get like a little piece of paper? With a little pen and write king on it and give him- give, Hand it to him? Is that the title they get? Because that's all you can afford. Now, again, there's no kings to kill. None of that's left. Oh, and yellow turned on red. Yellow turned on red. Smart move, because, like, red's been getting this gold the entire time. Red's not expecting this at all. And red is getting destroyed by Minjambin. Meanwhile, green's getting killed over here. Everything dies. Again, just reinforces what we said before, right? Yellow probably should win this game. Orange still, like, clinging to hope. Um, you know, it's, it has army, or did have the army in the barracks. They brought that forward. I don't know how Orange actually made this much military. Because Orange's ecos looked horrible. Green also still holding on. But, eventually Yellow can come finish the job. Orange might be adding numbers at the start of chat messages, not knowing it doesn't work, T90. Is that happening? Well, we would see the numbers, right? Did I miss something? And I really missed that feature. So, I don't know how long my viewers listening have been watching. As we see ting, 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 ting here. But pre-definitive edition, there were a lot of features that uh, the user patch had, which was Voobly, which is basically like Game Ranger, which is kind of where like the dedicated community split off to, uh, that were really nice. And the, one of my favorite ones for community games is the GG's called and Green resigns here was that. If you wanted to talk to an individual color, you would type their player number. You'd do like greater than five, for example, and then type the message and it would go directly to that. It would go directly to that player number. So. Yellow, no, I trusted you, says, says Orange. And well, Orange, the game gave you a second chance after your king died. Uh, gave you... Well, I guess it was Red's king that went down. I mean, everyone's king died at one point, but... You have been... You, you've been a good and loyal servant to Yellow and to Red, but you are always going to die to him. And Red and, and Orange proposing a 2v1 versus Yellow, but how? Yellow's got all the gold. Like, look at the lack of res for both of these two. They don't have army. They, they, sorry rephrase that they can't make more army yellow uh, orange still has a sizable force this will be tricky but there's no king to snipe so resources should win this game missing the boobly days <laughs> i mean i there's a lot of nostalgia with the boobly days 
as much as we complain about it, though, DE has been such a step forward in almost every way. Um, I couldn't go back, right? I couldn't go back. So, hope DE sticks around forever, you know? Look at Pen Scrawl says, we got this, Red. Bad Speller says, sorry T90 for failing to Diplo. Really felt overwhelmed this game. I get it. All good. Smiles in chat. Salutes in chat for Bad Speller. Don't stress. The whole game has been stressful. Wild. I Again, I do not understand how Orange is getting the resources for this. Last I checked, Orange is like 20 bills. Uh, Eco is at... Like, look at that. Seven on wood, one on food, two on gold. Maybe it's been in queue for a while? But this is the last of it. And it is up against Paladins. Now, Teutons can make Teutonic Knights. That's a lot of pointy boys. 61 Halbs. Well, 60 Paladins still win, but you'd have to engage it right. It's still not an engagement you necessarily want to be taking. Red's obviously here. Castle here from Yellow. Red trying to raid the gold. Yellow realizing that. Played HD today, and the pathing in that game is so bad compared to what we have now. I'm not sure about that. Right now, the pathing is worse than this game has had in a very long time. Back in March, the pathing was bad once the Xbox patch happened. They screwed with... The, uh, they changed something, in my opinion. Um, and it's never been the same, and it got worse, this patch. It's really bad right now. But, uh, you know, HD also had really bad pathing. What I'm referring to is user patch, which was like... Which was, like, technically the AOC, Age of Conquerors version. So, this is a bit different. Army count still looking pretty good for orange. Yellow now has two castles, and yellow's got elite Teutonic Knights in queue. That is the perfect trash killer. They're really not giving it up. There's not going to be trees left on this map soon. Look at this. Okay, just to show people, for people who skipped ahead in the YouTube video, how dare you. We just got here on stream. This is where we're at now. This is where we started. <laughs> it doesn't feel like the same thing, does it? It feels like a completely different world. Somehow, we've gone from that to where we are now. And, oh god, I will never do that. I'm so sorry. Caps Rage gave me every alert again. Just close your eyes for a second. I'll do the same. And that will all disappear. Oh, jeez. Ugh. And just in case you guys needed reminded, there you go. Um, well, there we go. Poof, okay. So, yellow obviously needs to push back against these castles. That will take some time. Red does have control of the wood. Yellow's eco stockpile is still really good with wood, though. Still has villagers on wood. I'm not sure where. Um... Oh, chopping wood here! That's a wood heist, if you ask me. Uh, push is happening. Orange shouldn't be able to make more army after this army goes down. And the castles will slowly fall. The TCs, everything for red and for orange. They want to fight it out. They did not envision their first community game. If it's their first, I think it's their first for both. Could be wrong on that. But they did not envision that it would be quite like this. But this is where we are, and Minjambin has been in a lot of games over the years. Was not the most observant individual, but no one really was when the weird things happened. <laughs> and, um, Paladins, again, it's like, they'll still win a 1v1 trade against a Halb. It's not cost-effective, but when you have gold and eco to make more, and orange does not, that's a fine fight to take. Conic's pretty strong, but I think yellow, as long as yellow can keep the Bombard Cannons alive, uh-oh, uh-oh, that's a lot of gold right there. The gold could run out. Uh, not ideal. A lot of thumpage here from these Conics. But yeah, Champion's on the way, Halb's on the way, Castle could still fall here, and I'm sure there could be more Cannons on the way too. I wonder what percentage of the people who watch this on YouTube will watch it knowing Trogdor. I don't know. I'm gonna say, like, maybe 
which is kind of weird. I don't know what to title it. Should I do the Trogdor map? And then people were like, who the crap is Trogdor? Or should I do like the dragon map and be very generic? And then people, it brings people in and then they watch that three minute video and really judge my childhood. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Uh, Orange says, So, Yellow, what do you think of a truce? Let's settle this like the men of old. Your vill versus my vill. <laughs> um, Yellow's like, why should I truce? It's a nice try. Uh, ooh, Red resigned. I missed that. Okay, GG to Red. And, uh... We're going to have to watch Trogdor again for the people here on stream who didn't see it. Oh, my goodness. I wonder if we could put it into the YouTube video without copyright. I don't know, man. That was before people were sticklers about copyright. I wonder... they Nah, but somebody bought it. Somebody bought it, and they're going to take all my ad revenue for, for a 30-second clip. 100%. I'm talking to you, baby shark. Jeez, man. 40 videos or like 60 videos I can't have monet I, all the monetization goes directly to baby shark because of alerts I used to have not salty about it but yeah we'll link the video at the very least so can we appreciate orange's spirit here orange has 16 army and 7 eco there's no kings orange really wants to win this is the classic wait for the opponent's internet to disconnect strategy. You don't normally see that during community games. But like, I don't know, maybe Yellow forgot to pay his internet bill and... I don't know what time that they've checked that, but maybe Orange knows something that I don't. Alright. One halb against the world over here. Cannons are very confused. They're like, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay. Alright, Orange. Let's, let's show us the big finish here, buddy. Your trebs are going down. I'm seeing no movement. I'm seeing no chatter. Is Orange even here right now? APM tells us... Orange is here. Orange is there. Orange is typing and says, Okay, I think GG. And that is the end. Um... I think we need to... Like, people really love to talk about the results of games. Right? And especially in, like, Diplo and free-for-all games, there can sometimes be, you know, discussions on what happened, what didn't happen. This was a mess. This whole thing was a mess. The map was already, like, kind of imbalanced with positions. But then, I didn't even know there was going to be kings. Then there was kings. Then they didn't know it was going to be exploding kings. Then there was exploding kings. But then if the kings exploded, people weren't actually defeated? So they all had to figure that out midway through, and they didn't really figure it out at times. Um, I would not stress. Uh, one player already apologized. Don't feel bad. That was something that, that just kind of came out of left field for everybody. Uh, it's still a fun game, still a fun idea. I appreciate Trogdor for the map either way. Um, we had some fun moments there. At 231 kills from... Or, sorry, raisings. Jeez. From Minjamin. And obviously a crazy KD, and the Ika must have been ridiculous. Like, the Ika was not even close. Um, Delato said we knew it was Exploding Kings because the scenario said Exploding King Nomad. Did it? Okay. Well, if, if that's the case, then I don't know what Purple was thinking, but I need to rewatch that because that, to me, was hilarious. We need to go back to this moment. This was hilarious. Okay, so, I mean, the whole sequence is just so good. Alright, so let me, let's watch this again, alright? And now, Benny, I'm gonna assume your mind here for a second, and I'm gonna assume I know exactly what you're thinking, right? So, imagine, you're Benny. You waited a long time for one of these games, right? You waited a long time, this is a big moment. And you're doing your thing, and you're walking around, and then you see that king, and you're like, Oh my god! Oh my god, this is my moment, this is my moment. So what happens is, the walls go down to trap the king. And what I think happens, is Benny forgot the gate was already locked, and then goes to click the button, and actually opens the gate, and then is like, No! 
what did I do? And freaks out and clicks it again, and then it's locked right again. That's the only explanation. That's the only explanation for the quick lock on lock. I think that Benny forgot this was pre-locked, thus unlocked, the king goes through, and then Benny's like, ah, no, what am I doing? And then freaks out, what do I do? We got him trapped here now, rings the bell, and is like, oh shoot, T90's judging me super hard. There's a bunch of people going lol in Twitch chat. Get the kill, get the kill, please get the kill. Garrison again, get the kill. And then Benny sees that. Which Benny probably knew from videos means there's about to be an explosion. <laughs> and now Benny's like, I'm out of here, run away! <laughs> Benny says, I regret it. This is so much funnier a second time. Okay, because I was still trying to deal with the emotions myself. Okay, so, so what's funny is so everything's okay, right? Benny's like, okay, crap, lost everything, whatever. Thinks everything's fine, but that killed Red's king. And so, <laughs> and so now Benny doesn't know about that necessarily and has to run the other way. <laughs> and now Benny dies. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> and in Benny's case, and Benny was laughing in Purple's case. Um, what made this bad is, is Purple's actually defeated, right? Like, other people lost their kings in this, but if you still had vills, you could be fine. Benny lost all villagers, so Benny was dead. Um, ended up resigning because the only thing left was, like, the dock and fishing ships. <laughs> oh, so that was funny, man. And, like, then, of course, like, uh, obviously you guys watched every second, right? So, you know, people didn't even know what freaking happened, really. And Trogdor got exploded. So, yeah, it was a fun game. I hope people enjoyed it. Um, that moment right there was enough where... Oh, geez. Um, uh, that, that, that moment right there was enough for me to make it a really good game. So I hope people later on on YouTube enjoyed it, of course. And uh, it was good fun.